What exactly is lemon balm and why should you consider supplementing it? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. If you want to achieve limitless performance, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're going to talk about lemon balm. Now, lemon balm originally comes from the South Central Europe, around the Mediterranean, uh, but you can today find it in many different areas or parts of the world. Now, official name of lemon balm is Melissa officinalis. However, most people recognize it as lemon balm. Now, this interesting plant has been traditionally used as a relaxing agent, but nowadays you can find it in many different types of supplements, also in very advanced nootropic supplements. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the benefits of lemon balm. We're gonna look at the side effects, the dosages, and some other things. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if I recommend supplementing it or not. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, the first benefit I wanna talk about is the calmness effect that you get from supplementing lemon balm. Now, there are many studies that show that if you take lemon balm, um, that you can expect to feel more calm. Actually, this interesting plant induces calmness in healthy people. However, the interesting fact is that all the studies that I found were using a very high dosage of lemon balm, around 600 milligrams, whereas the recommended daily dosage, as you will later see, is much lower. So yeah, you can expect to feel more calmer if you take this interesting plant uh, in an extra form or in some different forms, which we can also talk about later on. But you know, if you really wanna use this compound as your only compound for inducing calmness, then yeah, I guess they're better uh, options available for you on the market. The second benefit that you can expect from this plant is that this is an anti-stress agent. Now, as I mentioned before, it has been traditionally used to uh, kind of induce calmness and kind of help you uh, or help people relax, you know. Um, and studies actually confirm that lemon balm is effective uh, anti-stress agent. Uh, especially, now this is an interesting part, especially if you take it prior to a stressful activity. So if you're just like taking a standard dosage of lemon balm every single day, um, you know, let's say you take it in the morning and then you, you get stressed around, I don't know, around noon, for example, you know, it's very difficult to expect any benefits from it. But if you take it prior to the stressful activity, let's say you have a meeting or whatever, then you can expect positive benefits. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. I'll be super happy about it. The third benefit I wanna talk about is its effect on our memories. Now, some studies show that if you take lemon balm, you can expect to have a better memory. Your actually memory can improve by supplementing it. What has been studied is that, that the amount of correct memories formed um, have increased, you know, when people were given a high quality extract of this lemon balm. So yeah, is this the best nootropic or the best compound for improving memory? Not really. Also, the effects are very low. Um, however, well, it can definitely help. So if you're taking lemon balm as part of a more complex nootropic or complex brain supplement, then yes, you know, it's it can be very beneficial. But you know, if you take it on your own again, like as, you know, the only compound for improving memory, yeah, there's so many better uh, compounds available that, yeah, I wouldn't take it. The fourth thing I want to talk about is that if you take lemon balm, your reaction times can slow down. Now, if this is a benefit or not, well, it kind of depends, you know, why do you want to take it? Uh, if you want to, again, uh, feel more relaxed and more calm, then yes, I mean, it's good that your reaction is kind of a slowdown because this actually means that you're more calm. Um, and not that focused, but on the other hand, if you're taking it uh, for improving cognition, especially your memory, then you know, maybe having slow reaction times isn't that good. However, again, keep in mind that the dosages uh, that were studied were very, very high dosages of a lemon balm extract. So, you know, if you take a small enough dosage, like dosages that are usually found in many or in most supplements available on the market, you cannot really expect that uh, your reaction times will uh, slow down. So, you know, that's a good thing to know. And last but not least, let's talk about the sleep benefits of lemon balm. So certain studies show that if you supplement lemon balm in the evening, uh, what can happen is that your quality of sleep can improve. Now, the issue with that is, the issue with the studies that I found is that uh, in all studies, lemon balm was actually given together with valerian, which is another natural compound, another natural nootropic that can potentially uh, improve your sleep. So I haven't seen any studies of lemon balm on its own, and based on all the stuff that I read about it, 
I don't really expect it to be like the best um, sleep enhancer or you know sleep supplement uh, on the market. Um, so yeah, it may improve the quality of your sleep. Uh, it may um, kind of uh, help you get in, into your bed in the evening because it's gonna help you relax a bit. Uh, but keep in mind to really have the real benefits. We don't know, you know, we don't have the scientific studies confirming them. And also based on the studies, yeah, I don't think uh, lemon balm is such a potent, such a strong compound for that. By the way, guys, I've revealed seven special secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get them, download my free handbook below. So when it comes to the daily dosage, the kind of optimal daily dosage is around 300 milligrams of lemon balm. Now you can traditionally take it as a, you know, in, in your teas, uh, you can, you know, drink a tea of lemon balm. Uh, or, you know, nowadays you can find many high quality supplements that have this interesting compound in it. You know, it depends on you what you like more. In my opinion, taking a high quality extract is better because you know that, you know, it, it depends where you buy it, of course, but you can check the quality of the extract. You know, it can be organic um, and you can check it out. Uh, also, you know the exact dosage of this compound in a supplement, whereas if you drink a tea, it's hard to say how much of lemon balm is it. Uh, in, in the tea you're drinking. So yeah, it's more scientific and I think it, it's, you know, it definitely gives you a better value. Also, as I mentioned before, I wouldn't probably take it as an individual compound. Um, so yeah, it's better to take a supplement that contains more other compounds that can um, yeah, bring more benefits uh, out of you. So yeah, uh, but yeah, keep in mind that the recommended dosage is around 300 milligrams and you should, for all the benefits that we talked about, you should kind of stick to this dosage. Now, when it comes to side effects, lemon balm is generally safe. Um, it's a natural compound. It's a plant that has been used for many, many years, uh, actually hundreds of probably thousands of years. So you really don't have nothing to worry about. But again, as I always recommend to consult your doctor if you wanna be 100% on the safe side. So the final question is, should you consider taking lemon balm? And if yes, how should you take it? Well, in my opinion, lemon balm on its own it's nothing special so it's it's really not a special nootropic that you can expect a lot of benefits from it's not the best anti-stress agent it's not really um the best compound for sleep it, it's not the best compound for improving memory so yeah i would not take it on its own so if i see it like a lemon balm supplement so that's the only compound or if i see a lemon balm tea i probably would avoid it however you can find lemon balm in many high quality supplements and tropic stacks brain supplements and so on and the reason why brands put it in in my opinion is because it's often combined lemon balm is often combined with stimulants such as caffeine for example and what does it do it kind of works the same as l-theanine at least in real life not, maybe not in theory but um, you know, you get, for example, from caffeine, you get a strong energy boost and some jittery that follows. And usually people who drink caffeine, they get a spike and then the crash follows. Uh, you know, however, when you um, add, for example, lamb balm to it, what happens is that, you know, you still get the spike, right? The energy still comes, but there's no such a uh, steep crash. So it, it kind of a... Uh, uh, minimizes the negative side effects of you know taking stimulants and that's why I found a lot of supplements that contain lemon balm but very small amounts like uh, 50 milligrams up to 100 milligrams in general and you know when you see a supplement with such a dosage um, then you can you know expect um, that it's not in it for the main benefits but mainly to help um, kind of uh, extend the benefits of caffeine and, and kind of help you avoid the negative side effects of caffeine or other stimulants um, that are in a particular nootropic supplement. So in this case, yeah, it's definitely valuable. It's a very cheap, very affordable um, compound. So yeah, in this case, I would definitely consider supplementing it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget subscribing to this channel below. Press the gray bell so it turns yellow, so you'll be notified when I publish new videos. Don't forget to uh, subscribe below to my Limitless Monday email session. And um, don't forget to follow your reception on Facebook and Instagram. And guys, I hope to see you soon. Take care.